I'm curious to know, like, if Tack has any idle animations, if you just sit here and watch him. I think he does, but I don't want to find out. I don't... I hate staring at his fucking Tack ass. Tack ass. Precious just, like, ass. Zo just zoom in slowly on his ass, like, whoop, and, like, with the like, sound picture, effect. Like, <laughs> like, have, like, Joe White whoop. grabbing at it with his claws. <laughs> and then me, like, running off, just so you have to do more work. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Fabulous Fish. I am Joshua. Joshua Jaquinto. It's from the Bible. <laughs> oh, Biblical Joshua. Yeah, Biblical Josh. I think it's this book. I think it was a New York Times bestseller or something. Who's the man? Not fucking you, Tech. <laughs> you're not a fucking man. You're a boy. Who is the man, though? Um. Oh, God. If I were to make a guess, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito? Just yeah, bridging he's me off what I said last time. Yeah, well, this is, we're fucking, this is one sitting for us. I, I feel like most people know that, but, like, I don't, I record episodes, like, in bulk, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's the way to do it. I mean, when I first started, I did, like, one a day. It was terrible. Why Which would I, you do it, that? Because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I was such an <laughs> idiot. I still am. <laughs> you had, like, everything set up and, like... <laughs> yeah, oh and then God. it would be, like, when I come home from school, it would be, like, the worst shit ever. That just reminded me, Katie has this thing. Uh, Preston, feel free to bleep out this word, because it's not a word I usually use in my Let's Plays. But, like, Katie has this thing where, like, when she messes up, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm a little... Hey. Sometimes? <laughs> Listen! <laughs> just, like, Preston, just censor that with, like, Navi, because that's usually what I use to, uh... You don't have to censor mine, because mine was Boston. Uh, please censor out that. I don't want words like that in my videos. I was just telling it, because, like, fucking... It's so fucking funny. Katie is just, like, when she fucks up, she's like, sorry, I'm a little... Hey. Sometimes. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Just like how how honest she is about it. I'm like, Katie, mm. why did you do that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, where the fuck are we going? We're just following Plant Bitch around. You might already know this, but this elevator takes you straight to Tree Village. You might you already know him? this elevator takes you to the village you live in. You know what they say at those meetings, Jack. If he knows, <laughs> why are you already telling him? <laughs> Tack might be a little. Hence why we have to keep mm. explaining mm. him how his own it's home works. Little... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It happens. We don't. We don't like to tell him, but so no, no. We'll be. We'll be polite to Tack. So I really like. I really like the painting in the background of this place. But I hate this yeah, area. Yeah, I, I actually think this ass. area's aesthetics look a lot better than the first area. It's beautiful. It kind of has like that Raymond um, Legends vibe. It's like. I, I know people say that they'd want like an HD remake of this game or something. I'm like, I don't, because this game fucking sucks. But I take nah, an HD remake. remake of this one area because it looks cool. What the? What the fuck? Uh. Hey, Tack. You okay there? Did y'all save? Pa pause your timer. Um, keep your recording running, I guess. What happened, Tack? Bruh. <laughs> I will restart that. Uh, fuck, I just unplugged my headphones. Can I go to the bathroom real quick? Hold on a sec. Um, I hope... Does the game auto-save? Or, like, do you have to fucking manually save as you go? Because if the game auto-saves, we're fine. If not, we're fucked. Fucking! <laughs> fuck Woo! you, Tack. Starting for the beginning. <laughs> fuck you, Tack. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll save as we go now. Hmm. You catch that green circle tack. All right, guys, we are back. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, that was that was stupid. I apologize shit. if our feather counter is a little different now. Um, I think we had 555 before, mm -hmm. whereas I'm a little more than that now this time. If you're 555, then I'm 666. <laughs> Top 10, not aging well lyrics. And again, it was kind of corny at the time. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this is just the fucking curse. Everything was going too smooth, so the game had to do that, you know? Yeah, didn't that? So that happened to us when we did our unreleased Bionicle. Yes, yes. So, like, back in uh, 2018, Josh and I tried to let's play Bionicle Maze of Shadows, which is honestly a really solid <laughs> RPG. And we got, like, many hours into the game, and it, I thought it came out really good. Mm -hmm. And then the game fucking crashed on us, and I hadn't fucking saved yet, because I don't usually save while recording. Yep. We talked a lot about Avatar. Um, it was right before I went to junior year of college. And now I've been graduated for a year and a half. So. <laughs> and fucking. I was so salty that, like, we just didn't record. Because, like, I had to replay hours of the game. I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. And, um. 
So this is actually our second time attempting this last play. Didn't we have something similar happen? So we recorded... Oh no, uh, you just stopped it and was like, nah. <laughs> we were a few hours in, and like, I didn't like the way it was coming out at all. I think this take is way better. That was like last January, right? Yep. I remember just like, we both had like nothing to say at the time, and like... I remember that it started off good. It did start off good, and I'm hoping that's not what happens this time, too. Yeah, I mean, I think it was, it started to get worse, like, later than this. So. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see. I guess you'll find out when you <laughs> <laughs> If this goes up or not. Well, I know we also had, like, the idea to uh, possibly stream tech and have, like, the chat to play off yes. of, but I don't know. I feel like we can do this. I think I can do it, too. It's like, we're both, um, we're both in a better state of mind right now. Oh, yeah. Hooah. Not working at the crates and the barrels. Can I just say, where the fuck does Tack's head go right now? Up its ass. Oh, God. That's... Tack, I hate everything about you. <laughs> I'm not one for kink shaming, but I will kink shame Tack whenever I can. I am. I only do that to Tack. Really, it's like just him. Hmm. What about me? Uh, what are they? I don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know yet? <laughs> No. <laughs> Why would I know? I, I feel like most people figure that out at a pretty young age. <sighs> you never know. What you might like in theory might not turn out to be what you like in practice. I mean, that's that's very true. You have no practice. You know? Well, I mean, okay. Well, some things aren't something you can realistically practice, like shoving your head up of a sheep's ass. I mean, <laughs> that has to remain in theory. Don't, if you yeah. can, don't fucking tell me. I don't want to know. I'm saying that's remaining in theory. What do we get? Ah, uh, yes. Tax saying rock on after picking up an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> what do we need the acorn for? You shoot it out of your blow stick. Come on, this is like first grade, like, tribal people in a movie. They have blow sticks and they shoot darts, but... I guess we can't have darts, so we have acorns. Why can't we just have darts? Shack I don't know. <laughs> I fucking boiled a person alive. You're telling me that I can't use darts in this game? I know, right? Darts, darts not allowed, but cannibalism perfectly the green, fine. Green Inferno. Speaking of cannibalism, those are okay movie. I what movie? Green Inferno. I have not seen it. It's pretty good. Have you ever um, you seen Glorious Bastards, right? No. Oh, okay. Then no, I have not. Um, that's because uh, the guy that shows up with the bat, um, in Inglorious Bastards, is played by Eli Roth, who's also a movie director, and he directed The Green Inferno. And um, wait, wait, hold on. It's a the second. only movie I've seen by him. Hold on a second. I can't shoot sucks. the sheep. I have to shoot the monkey to shoot the sheep. I can't just shoot the sheep myself. Why yeah, not? I was Sean the sheep. I was. I remember. I was. Oh, I can. Oh, you can? Okay. okay. Bonus points for that, tech developers. What's the point of the monkey, then? I don't know. <laughs> Why have him there at all? I don't know. Can we do, like, a monkey-less run? Do you ever actually need that monkey for anything? A monkey-less run. <laughs> Beat the game without a single monkey. No monkeys are harmed <laughs> in this. No, zero monkey percent. Many many rhinos may be harmed, but no monks. Hmm. Dude, that background no looks really good. Oh, it's so good. It's really a shame that the rest of this game is tack. Yeah. Oh, okay. A Nurbel Mest. Do they have a better name than fucking Nurbel? Nurbel. That's terrible. So what happens to the ones inside the nest? They just die? Yeah, oh yeah. They're they're not they're not even birthed yet. <laughs> they're birthed right there in front of you. Oh oh, okay, gotcha. So Tack just killed Nurbel fetuses. Nurbel feti. Music's good here too, and uh, this is djembe. But my, I was gonna go get my djembe, but it's in my garage. You know what's not good is this fucking game design right now because you're one of those fucking plants. Sucks that's ass. like the rest of the game. Yeah, it's literally just or like go find first... more plants, kill uh, more plants, yeah. exterminate. Hey, monkey man, you gotta pull get out. Get rid of the toxin. <laughs> oh my god! I wish that the wait. This is where I fucking wait. Where do I go then? Oh, there's another monkey. No? There's another oh, monkey. Oh, I remember this shit. You gotta, um... I gotta probably, like, shoot him and, like, lure him here. You gotta lure the monkey over here. Yeah, so, like, harass him. 
Monkey. <laughs> I think you maybe gotta have the like monkey shoot the chimp pansy. Oh, okay. or, or he's, he's an orangutan. orangutan. Yeah. yeah, that's an orangutan. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, Wait, where did the shit. monkey go? He's dead. Oh, he's over there now. Oh, oh, I see. And then he'll come over here to uh... see. Like that's actually not a bad puzzle. Yeah, they're trying to make Ouch. something more. They're trying to make tack not completely terrible. Yeah. They didn't really Ugh. succeed. Like, I mean, it's not fun, but like. <laughs> <laughs> There's an idea to be had, though, you know? I <laughs> did. I had to think about what to do for a second. <laughs> Which is more than I can say about most of this game. Alright, come on. Let's launch. Well, there are parts later Whoa. where you have to think what to do, but not in a good way. Wait, I have a question. Did I get. Did I, I, how did I miss that feather? <laughs> Get in fucked, like this, loser. <laughs> in the scripted sequence, how did I miss it? <laughs> <laughs> what? what the hell? How did that happen? This game sucks. Yep. Oh my god, it's more of this plant boy. I have a question. How does he see us? He doesn't have eyes. He has sonar. He's like a bat. Oh, he's like releasing a sonic wave from his mouth. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Speaking like of a that, submarine, this Mr. Wayne. Ooh. This plant has a mouth. Is he carnivorous? Um, I don't know. Is this a sequel to The Happening, where like the plants completely take over and they evolve even more into like oh. these things? Oh my God! It's uh, a. <laughs> this is sequel first, to The Happening. First off, did you see a beautiful camera angle there? <laughs> oh great! Right in the flag. Um, so Tack is Mark Wahlberg's uh grandson, <laughs> and this is like a post-apocalyptic. Like, these are the only survivors, and they're making do with what they have. This whole sheep thing is completely unrelated. I guess that's the twist. No, the sheep <laughs> thing is, sheep is lot. Tro Trolloc started doing that. Trolloc evolved by eating the cursed plants or something. Yeah. So, you just saw that happening recently. Last night? Yeah, what do you think? Um... So, you know how there's these this award show called the Oscars that they have every year? Yes, yeah, I know the Oscars. That's, you know I've the seen um, a few times. You know the Yeah, I know I'm being facetious. You know the um <laughs> best picture category that they have that is awarded to the um best picture of the year. Yes. Yeah, so that category they should just um give it to the happening every year. Because <laughs> humanity peaked with the happening. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I kind of wish I watched it like way earlier or like before I watched any reviews because I knew all the funny shit. Um, it was still very enjoyable though. Um, I'm convinced which, The Happening was supposed to be a comedy. It's hysterical. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the other way. I think Lady in the Water is the one that is intentionally a comedy and I think The Happening he's trying to play it serious. No, you see, um, like, to me, Lady in the Water felt like Shamon stroking his dick as hard as he could, so, like, that one feels in like... In parts, yes. Time. Like, him him making him the writer, but, like, there's scenes, like, when well, Paul Giamatti making, like, is acting critic, like it's... Making, like, the yeah. film critic the bad guy because Shamon yeah, fucking sucks. exactly. But I think he might think, or the film critic, he might think, like, oh, this is a funny jab that he thinks was really subtle, but it's clearly not. But, like, there's a scene, like, when Paul Giamatti is, like, acting like a child... So, um, the, uh, fucking, whatever, Rufio, uh, her mom will tell him the story, and, like, they're laughing at him doing it, so I Can think, I like, that camera stuff control? is, Thank you. is, like, intentionally funny, um, though, the funniest part of that movie, to me, I laughed so hard when he comes back to his room, and Story is sitting there reading his diary, and then she goes, I've been reading your diary. You have very sad thoughts. I read the part where a man came into your house when you weren't there and murdered your wife and children. <laughs> okay, so, like, Shyamalan is, like, one of my least favorite film directors. He's terrible. But, like, I, know. I respect his drive. I respect the fact oh, that yeah, after my terrible movie after terrible movie, he still gets up and makes more movies. And he's trying. He's trying his best. He has no idea what that, he's doing, but he is that, trying. Y'all all y'all audience should uh who uses Letterboxd should follow me on Letterbox. Um but my review for the happening was like, say whatever you want about Shyamalan, but you gotta give him the fact that he's trying. Because I would rather watch the happening than any like shitty action movie where they just like wanted to make some money. I would rather like, watch the happening than play tack. I would rather okay, <laughs> not every Marvel movie, but most Marvel <laughs> movies I'd rather watch the happening. 
honestly, because at least it's it's more entertaining. Oh my god! And yeah, so I he's trying I to make a story. At least he's not just trying to trying make, make quips constantly. Yeah, quips constantly and like you know appeal to as many people. There are some I like I, I like the first Iron Man and. There's, the first, there's some exceptions. I think up through the first Avengers, I liked, but then like they just yeah. they over fucking did it. First and, Avengers like, it is good. I surprisingly liked Civil War, but it had a lot of the problems. I did not like Captain America two, even though people ejaculate over that movie and said it was one of the best. See, I literally okay. had someone I went to college with that I won't name. I was telling him about 2001: A Space Odyssey, and I'm like, it's amazing, and then he's like. And he's like, oh, yeah, I've seen that. It was okay, but if you've seen Captain America 2, it'll blow your mind. I was like, all right. <laughs> okay, so controversial. I actually kind of liked the first Captain America. I haven't seen that one yet. I know people are kind of mad on it. I kind of liked it. It had problems, but, like, it was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And then I liked the first half of Thor. I haven't seen any Thor movie. Ah, uh, one, one of my friends sent me a fucking picture of, like, uh... Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman, both from Thor, and it just captioned, "This is why I'm bi." Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, that's fine. Um, I was trying to get the feather on the edge. I probably should just let it go. Natalie Portman was like my childhood, like uh, celebrity crush. Basically. Oh yeah, her from like Star Wars. Oh yeah, her in Star Wars was like. She's adorable. She also in the movie Heat, which is oh, oh, a cinematic oh, masterpiece. Uh, um, Featherless Friends ruined. No, but like. I mean, like, I watched, like, Ga Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and you're like, all right, this is a movie. But, like, you know, there's no where near amount of the passion in it. I agree with that. Like, I feel like the Marvel movies feel very sterilized. Like, they're all, they're like, sterilized, the same thing. yeah. There's, like, no passion or creativity in that. And I think the early ones were different. I think the early ones early, were Oh, yeah. First Iron Man's great. Um, Iron Man Two has an age quite. That one's not well. that good. It's not. Like it's not very one, good. But... Yeah. Uh, I I kind of like three. First Avengers is great. Uh, but then after that, it just kind of gets the same thing. Um. Yeah. I also like. So I I remember like an episode or two. It was like an hour ago. First Cause to replay the whole fucking game. But like I mentioned that like Uncharted was a good game, but Uncharted was really bad for games. You can say the same thing for Marvel, yeah. Yes, yeah. The early Marvel movies were good, but they were really bad for movies because so many goddamn movies yeah. are just trying to be them. Star Wars. Yes, fucking The Last Jedi was just trying to be a Marvel movie, and I hated it. I hate, I hate that movie so the much. The constant quips in that movie killed it for me, although I actually think it was more watchable than Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker is a disaster, but... Rise of Skywalker was, like, hardcore. It's like, they're not talking to each other. They're talking at each other. Yeah. Somehow like, Palpatine returned. Um, see, I was already done by the point Rise of Skywalker came out, so I'm nicer to that one because Last Jedi was the one I was watching where I realized it was like all going downhill. I was like, oh no! But Rise of, uh, Sky <laughs> Rise of Skywalker, I was already out on the train. I was already like, fuck this, I'm out. So I kind that of was, like enjoyed it as like a sh shit show. That was kind of Rogue One for me. That was where I'm like, these are not going to be good movies, are mm -hmm. these? I still like Rogue One. Uh, it's not great. It's I, not great, but I like yeah, it. You you did like you did change your perspective on it. Originally, you were like Rogue One was like the best Star Wars. Yeah. See, that's why uh, an example of like riding the high of first seeing a movie. It does have Mads Mikkelsen in it though, so it's the best. It's it has a uh, Felicity Jones, and she's an absolute waifu. But like mm. that movie as a whole is just like it wasn't good. I I I sort of think it's like I there's like no it. personality. It's just like boring. Mm -hmm. It's like when you talk yeah, about the movie, you like, remember mean. events, you don't remember characters. Yeah, but I mean, I think... So, I think it was just trying to do something different, because it's like, we're only going to see these characters... Well, I think it should have committed more, either, because... Um, I mean, you know, you couldn't make a movie where, like, character development isn't your focus, and we're just going to focus on the war, but they should have dialed that up more instead of because they're trying they add characters that like you're supposed to like that they shouldn't even have bothered they should have just made them all like soldiers and be like okay this is a movie about the actual war itself um yeah i agree with that completely so i think they should have tapped in i think that's why you like i get what you're saying is because it feels kind of like they wanted to have good characters but they didn't they should have gone all the way the other way and be like nah we're gonna um, dial that up of like these are just people I guess 
Yeah. That makes sense. Like, I feel like that would have given it more of a personality than what it had, because then it would be like, all right, you get to see, like, the brutality of war, and that's an interesting take for Star yeah. Wars, because Star Wars is fairly lighthearted most of the time. Yeah. Most um, of the time. Revenge of the Sith being an obvious exception, but I have not seen Solo. It's all right. Uh, I stopped. So, like, I didn't watch Rise of Skywalker in theaters, because I'm like, fuck yeah, that. Either. I'm not supporting this fucking... I hate it. Oh, I watched Jedi it that much. on, like, a free website on my phone. <laughs> Uh, Katie's parents bought it because her dad's like obsessed with Star Wars. Also, her parents thought it was like the best Star Wars, and I'm like, I, I don't get this. Yeah. You think Phantom Menace is the worst movie of all time, and that The Rise of Skywalker is some of the best Star Wars? I like fucking Phantom Menace. <laughs> I think Phantom Menace is bad, but I think it has heart. Yeah, it's a Shyamalan movie. <laughs> yeah, okay, so like, <laughs> Bring I, it I back. mentioned this. I mentioned this in like our Lego Star Wars Let's Play doing with Katie, but like. The Star Wars prequels are bad movies, but they're bad movies that, like, George Lucas wanted to make, and he had stories he wanted to tell. He just wasn't good at doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas, like, the Disney Star Wars, like, they didn't want to tell a story. They didn't want to make movies. It's a roller coaster. They want to make Star Wars to make money. It's a roller coaster ride. Yeah. And, like... That's what I, movies are, but not Shyamalan I, movies. I feel like that about Tack, though. It's, like, I get that, like, maybe the devs working on this wanted to make it, but I feel like the direction of, like, the yeah. higher-ups who, like, commissioned the, like, you need to make a game called Tack and the Power of Juju, mm -hmm. I feel like they didn't care about this game at all. Yeah. Like, they just um, wanted to, like, make money. So I got all these plans. A ton of, Is that the end of this area? I think so, yeah. Um, nice, there's, like, nice. a ton of movies, like, just, like, shitty action movies that I've watched, and, like, Shyamalan feels like a breath of fresh air compared to all those. Because at least he's different, and he's like he's following his heart and his dreams. Mm -hmm. well, we still need to get more plants. Um, oh my god! I love it. She's like, we still need to get more plants. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the extent I mean, of this game. <laughs> I guess the a big exception for him is like glass, which I haven't seen yet. I have not seen that one either. Oh my god! I'm starting to think that like Flora just wants us to take out all of her exes or something. Honestly, that would be a much more interesting plot. <laughs> if that was the twist of this game, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Like, Flora has a bunch of, like, plant boyfriends who are, like, her exes, and she's like, I, they keep, where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, I, yeah, I remember getting lost here, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I not take fall damage from that? But I take fall damage from, like, this. I'm gonna jump! Do a flip! Like, that gives me fall damage, but from up there, somehow, I was fine. What? Tack! Right this part's so weird. Well, you have to, like, get to shoot the monkey to, Yeah, like... but she's like, uh, attack, I gotta go. Like, she just shit her pants and she got to, has to go to the bathroom real fast. <laughs> and there's no explanation <laughs> for it. <laughs> the canon explanation. <laughs> she shit her pants and There's has to no run. explanation for it. it. It's really awkward. You think there's gonna be, like, this big reveal or something that she how has a secret or, like, like something scared her? How she's not, like, attack? You just had to get the remote. Why she's like, I just gotta go. B bye. Yeah, she's like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, oh, it's because she has dark secrets she's hiding from us. Oh, that fuck. We never find right out. Way? They were killing her exes. Yeah, you are. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna... These stay broken, right? I believe so. Alright, guys, I'll get them all out of the way right now. Oh, oh okay. Guys, we're going back this way. <laughs> so Rhino could fall off. <laughs> uh, Look at just Tag just beating this poor Rhino. God damn, Tag is an asshole. I know. That's why I hate Tack. He's horrible. I like how the rhino's, like, legs are in complete movement, but his body was just, like, stable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, left is- oh, let me read that. Left is Numa Dunes, and choice. right is Chicken Island. Which one should oh, we do in the next fuck. video? Uh, let's go to Numa Dunes, because in our, um, like, first attempt of this, we went to Chicken Island, and that's where it all went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> So well, we can at least get a new environment Chicken like the faster. worst fucking part of this game, so. Uh, Chicken Temple is later, which is on Chicken Island. Yeah, so but Chicken Island fucking sucks. We'll you go to Chicken Island video. first, then do stuff, and yeah, you fuck around. See y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>